I was in uh, Los Angeles for SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. I was at the very controversial uh, 2K Games <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, press thing with yeah. that you hosted, and Ric yeah. Flair was there, and yeah. a, a lot was made of it on a lot of different wrestling websites. Uh, I do remember uh, sitting with my wife and being like, Did, I think JR just insulted the sponsor of, <laughs> of whoever's putting this thing on. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't handle it well. But did you did they did they fire you for that? Pretty much, they did. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, I, and I and I, hey Sam, I took responsibility for that. The, 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 there's a lot of stories about that deal. Yeah, uh, the one that the story going around that I was working all day uh, at Access, and as the day goes on, if you're a Bell's palsy victim mm -hmm. or or whatever the word is, sufferer, sufferer. Uh, your facial, as the day goes on and fatigue sets in, you're a lot more prone to slur. Your facial muscles are not what they were. Yeah. Fatigue doesn't do me any favors in that regard. And I remember you starting that, that night saying, if you think I'm scowling, right. I have Bell's palsy. Right. I'm, I'm actually a very happy guy. I am. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that's true. Yeah. Uh, but so, uh, I was slurring a little bit that night out of fatigue, but it happens every night. I mean. Mm -hmm. I get angry sometimes with my wife because I'll have a long day and I'll say something to her and she'll say, what? Right. And I said, did you not hear me or did you not understand me? Mm -hmm. And honey, I didn't understand you. Well, yeah, that's a Bell's palsy issue. Then I have to apologize for being a dick. <laughs> uh, are you paying attention or not? Yeah. You know, well, I, yeah. Well, I didn't understand you because you were slurring. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, uh, I say, honey, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean it. So I was slurring, but the rumor going around that I was drinking with Ric Flair all afternoon and that I was drunk on the air and all that was such, that was so wrong. And right. So erroneous. Uh, I'm so not, you weren't drunk? Hell no. Absolutely not. You wouldn't have done I it. had one cocktail before mm -hmm. we went out. Uh, yeah, and I guess that is what did you, because I think you made some reference to. Greg Goose? Yeah, like, but it was almost like, yeah, we're being social here. We're relaxed. Exactly. Having a drink. Well, and they, then it turned into. I, I, I had, I, I admit it, I had a cocktail. Right. Uh, in the green room. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, you know, Rick, unfortunately, had been drinking most of the afternoon. Does it bug you that Rick is back on TV? Nah, you don't no. care. I, I'm, it's I, part of the business. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's part of the business. I'm, I can't, I don't live in a, you know, Rick's back on TV. Uh, Rick has gone, people have to understand, and I mentioned this to everybody when they, that would listen. They're bringing him to Los Angeles <laughs> right after he found his son dead of a heroin overdose. Yes, yes. He's been drinking a lot. He's in a very tough spot. No one should find their son uh, in the hotel room next to yours dead or anywhere else for that matter. Yeah. And then find out that he died of a heroin overdose. Pretty damn hard to handle. Horrible. And uh, Rick uh, was still processing all that. Probably needed to have extensive grief counseling before he ever got back into the public arena. And then you'll hear some say that being an amateur psychologist, well, it'd be good for him to be around his friends. It'd be good for him to be, uh, it'd be a good diversion. Yeah. Uh, so we saw that worked out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't try to analyze it yay or nay. I just think that the guy probably should have had some professional grief counseling, but, uh, I'm not angry at him. I'm glad that if him being back in WWE helps WWE and helps for Rick, then that's, that's a win-win for me. Cause it's, it has, it's it's not it's nothing to me anymore in Are that you, regard. Were you surprised that uh, that event had that kind of reaction? Yeah, uh, you know the sponsors, Two uh, K Sports, uh, were ecstatic when the, when the thing was over. They said, "Man, that was awesome." Yeah, and it, it, they, we had so many hits on that panel that it blew up the servers. Mm -hmm. They had never had the success of the viewers that they ever had, and you know I kept saying, "Okay, here's what we ought we, we need to have. We have this panel." We had, we had no rehearsal. We had no walkthrough. We had, I had no IFB. We had no production meeting and I'm, uh, going out there on this little Island and I should have been better than I was. So I dropped the ball and I should have handled it a little bit better and I didn't. And, uh, you know, so uh, you, know, you pay for your repentance. You have done stuff with the WWE network. Correct. And yeah. You film something. So you. Yeah. So you're kind of. Yeah. I, surfing I, up again here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, the relationship of the company is uh, respectful, and they know that I'm will help if I can. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, they help me. They they sell our products online at their online store. So still, there's still a collaborative effort in in some areas. And I'm always going to be a WWE guy. Yeah. Uh, even though that all that 19 years we talked about earlier, I'm still going to be a WWE guy, and I wish them all great success.